Hey guys, happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, June 20th, 2015. As you can see, I am in my bathroom and I am preparing to get ready for church. Um, I've already done the makeup part and I won't do a tutorial because I'm not good at makeup anyway, so there's nothing really to show. I just kind of throw the stuff on my face and hope it turns out good. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm about to blow dry and fix my hair. Um, other than that, I'm completely dressed. I, this is can't really see the outfit of the day here. I got some black leggings on and then I have this blue blue shirt. Um, I'm trying to rock this. Anyway, um, sorry we haven't been on here for a while. Um, I guess, you know, I know it's not a good excuse, but it's just been so hot outside that I haven't really felt like pulling out a camera and filming. So, I know it's not an excuse. So I'm sorry for not making any vlogs sooner. Um, but it is Saturday, so Saturday's a vlog day for sure. We always vlog on Saturdays, um, even if nothing's really going on. Anyway, um, like I said, we're going to church today because last week we went to the pool party. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it below in the description box so you can watch that and check that out. We had a great time. Um, I found out online that uh, Hillsong is coming to our church for a performance. And... If you're not a Christian and don't listen to Christian music, you probably don't know who that is, but they are really awesome. They do the song called Oceans. Um, they're coming to our church October 1st for our performance, so that's cool. So I might try to see if we can get in to see that. I'm going to go ahead and mention that we do have a new subscriber. Um, the name is not listed, but they are our number 53. So um, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Um, also, um, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to put up the video from yesterday because it was just, I just started it and never finished it. Um, but I did mention that, um, we had talked about in a previous vlog that I was going to get a laptop for my vacation because, um, I needed to upload vlogs while I was on my trip. But however, um, after going to Best Buy and spending a couple hours at Best Buy, um, I decided on getting a new camera instead and a bunch of memory card. So basically um, I got a new uh, Sony camera. The only thing I did notice so far is it's extremely heavy so it's going to be a little bit of a, a challenge trying to vlog with this camera because it's very heavy. However it is a big upgrade from my uh, Canon that I was using before. Um, I'll put um, a clip from that below from yesterday's vlog. DSC HX50V. So, yep, this is my new camera. It's got all kinds of goodies. Um, originally, uh, this camera sold for $400. $50 when it first came out, but now it um, was on an open box for this price right here. But that's not what I paid for it. Um, I paid for this $450 camera after the open box and after my gift certificates that I had on my account at Best Buy from my cell phone, I paid $160 for it. So guys, once again, Best Buy is called Best Buy for a reason because I got this camera for $160 and it was originally $450. Um, they're selling it, um, I looked online, the current price now for it is um, $299.99. So I got this camera for pretty much half price of what the current selling price is. So this is what we're planning on doing on our trip is filming and I will edit everything when we get home and post it onto our page. Um, during our trip I will make some small mini vlogs um, on either my camera or my iPad so you guys can you know see what's going on and you know just to keep in touch. 
so um, yeah, as soon as I finish my hair and I finish getting ready, um, Allie and I are going to head to get some lunch. Um, it's almost 3.30, so we got to get out of here soon. Um, and then we're going to head to Life Group and church for the night. Hey guys, it's me again. We're back at Hayway. I'll just let Allie uh, get her way with how to say it because I still don't know the official way. We're back at Hayway. It's an ugly day outside. You can see it out the front window. Uh, it's raining, it's nasty, and it's 410. So, I head on um, out to church from here. Hopefully, this weather gets better later. this time than last time. Alright. So, as Gabe and Babe would say, it's going down. Nom, nom, nom. You're no fun, Al. You didn't drop it. Here's Allie's face. She's got Kung Pao Lo Mein. It's yummy. Nothing, you're no fun. Drop the noodle.
One of the greatest testimonies that came out of this was even from the shooter himself. When he almost changed his mind because of how nice they were. I want us to be nice to everyone who comes. But at the same time, be wise. We've got great security. And they are here to protect us. I can tell you this, I'll stand in this place and when we move in over there, I'll stand there every week. I'll stand there until I can't stand anymore and preach the truth of God's yeah. Word. Yeah. Without you. And if I go, I go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm on, I'm, it's okay. I, I'm like in the testimony of the girl who turned in this young man as she drove upon him or saw him in his car. I don't know if you heard her interview. They said, well, what, what if he had shot you? What if he had turned it? She said, it's okay. I know where I'm going. I'm going to be with Jesus. And so I can tell you, that, that testimony is mine. I'm okay. But let me talk to you about praying for that church and what we need to do. Danny and I, uh, yesterday, attended a vigil, prayer vigil, at St. Mark's AME, which is a sister church, obviously. To, uh, to Mother Manuel, as they call it there in Charleston, uh, right around in the corner. I can't remember which way we are. Bruton. <laughs> that way, yeah. Uh, right down Bruton. And we attended a prayer vigil. You saw a lot of news coverage, maybe, of it. And, and we sat for two and a half hours and listened to people cry out and, and, and we prayed together. It was absolutely wonderful. And, and what I've heard, what I, what I sense there, and I want to share with you, Let's be real, real precise and very careful. Though this might have been motivated at the heart by race because of this young man's upbringing. What happened in Charleston is one more example that we live in a broken world that is scarred with sin. And it is the sin of mankind, it's the scar in every one of us that even gives place to racism or gives place to to what other kind of anger or hatred that comes out. And you know what the answer to that is. It is not another law. It is not another president. It is not another Congress. It is the hope of Jesus Christ Amen. and the gospel. That because I'll be honest, when I saw him, he looked just like me. And apart from the grace of God, I could be the one who takes life. But by God's grace, I found hope. And there was a comment made by one, well, several of the families. I want to, I don't know the judge, and I don't know how these things work, but I think it was, uh, it was rare when he allowed families to come to the bond hearing. But I don't know if you got to hear what some of those families said. Oh my goodness, the gospel. As they looked at that young man through video and forgave him, and extended grace to him as Jesus had given them grace. They prayed for his salvation. It was a beautiful testimony. And I don't think the networks had a chance or a choice not to carry it. They had to carry it. And they it. Oh my goodness, it moved my heart. I want to go to that church just to see some of those families. And to say thank you for being such a bold witness in a time of brokenness. I mean, a time of hurt. An incredible name. One of the stories that has come out really grabbed me. I heard it in the prayer vision. It's when he looked at one of the ladies and said, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you live because somebody needs to tell the story. When, when I heard that, let me tell you what it means. God said to me, David, the reason you're still alive is to tell the story. And the reason we're here tonight is to tell the story of the power of the gospel and the love of Jesus Christ. And, and what it does to one, what it does to one another. We've got to tell the story. That's why we're here. And so I pray that in this season we will remember. And I want us to even now just pause for a moment. And I want to pray for that church. Because tomorrow will be an unbelievable day as they gather. Would you join me and just lift up in 
Emmanuel, AME Church there in Charleston.